Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, unfortunately, I'm bringing you a foundation fail. It's actually a foundation and a concealer fail, but basically the foundation was the worst part. Though I was more excited for the concealer, because I love nothing more than a good, affordable concealer, and a... <laughs> You're not gonna find it here. I'm talking about the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick along with the Conceal and Perfect Concealers. So there isn't a whole lot of information or like claims about this on their website, but let me just go ahead and read this for you. Our full coverage creamy foundation stick blends seamlessly to cover imperfections and even skin tone. This weightless stick delivers a natural matte finish that lasts up to 12 hours. <laughs> Even the car disagrees. The transfer and water resistant formula contains bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of pores. Available in 20 shades. Okay, I disagree with everything. <laughs> This was not a natural matte finish. It did not last for 12 hours. It is not transfer resistant. I didn't test it against water, um, but it's not transfer resistant. Um, and it's dry. Like, first of all, if you have any sort of dry skin at all, stay far, 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 far away from this. I really think this should be more marketed towards people with oily skin that have issues trying to keep something on their face throughout a day because this it's really matte it's not full coverage that i found it looks cakey and okay so i've got a lot to say about this and none of them good so so those are all the claims of the foundation stick and that's what it's supposed to do let me go ahead and read the claims on the concealer again not too much but the website says creamy full coverage water resistant makeup that instantly conceals and lasts up to 12 hours Perfect for concealing under eye circles, blemishes, and skin discoloration. Formula contains vitamin E to help replenish skin's moisture. And available in 18 shades. This also, like, this is a concealer that looked good when I first put it on. But by the end of the day, my under eyes looked so dry and crepey. And I tried using different powders with it. I tried using different foundations and different primers. And it, it always aged me by the end of the day. I always looked like 10 years older when I was wearing this concealer. I'm not wearing either of these right now for reasons that you will see when I show you the demo. So I've been testing these out for weeks and it's, it's been rough. <laughs> First of all, for the foundation, I did. I kind of wish I had filmed my first impression, but I didn't because I really wanted to test this out. When I first opened the foundation stick, this is, I had to cut off a little bit at the top. You don't get a whole lot of product in here, but what I had to do is the rounded tip, I'll throw a picture up of what the like unopened, unused product looks like, but there was like a rounded tip and it looked kind of like play makeup. You know, like that plastic that you would get when you were a kid. I tried applying it like that and it felt like plastic and I wasn't getting any product onto my face. Like I felt like I had bought a kid's toy and not a stick foundation. So what I had to do was actually like chop off the top of the stick foundation in order to get anything on my face. So I'll show you here, I'll throw in a clip of how much I had to chop off the top of it just so that I could actually use the stick on my face. This top portion was very hard and like crumbly, um, so I didn't save it to try and actually use it. I ended up just kind of tossing that part. After I did that, I was able to actually use and put on the foundation and unfortunately, it didn't really get any better. So what I have for you are kind of a, a mishmash of clips. I've worn this foundation for a full day numerous times and it's looked so bad that I've only worn it on days where I stayed home. And it, it's, it's bad, it's bad. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, see, I'm, I'm beyond the point of trying to be nice. It's terrible. So what I have is this morning before I put this on, I actually showed you the application of both the foundation and the concealer. So I'll throw that clip up first just to show you guys how it actually applies and zoom in very close and show you guys why I don't like this foundation or concealer. And then I'll bring you to a clip of 
how the foundation and the concealer looks after the end of a day. Now, I you couldn't pay me to wear this outside the house because when I work from home, I don't do a whole lot. I, I sit at my desk, like here, like I work at this desk. I sit here and I look at my computer, I type, like I work, but I'm sitting in one spot in, air, in an air-conditioned, warm attic, you know, depending on the weather, and I don't do much. So it's literally like the easiest test I can put a foundation through because I'm not doing anything. It looked horrible after a day of me working from home. So um, that'll be the clip that you will see <laughs> after me attempting to put this on this morning. So let's just go ahead and throw those up. <laughs> So I know I, I gotta put this on because it's a review and I gotta show you, warn you, let you see it for yourself, but I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, so I have the two concealers and I have the foundation stick. So I guess we should just get going, huh? Hmm. Okay. So this is about the amount of product that I have left right now. I'll try not to put it up too much. I've already primed. I just used a very moisturizing primer. I've tried several different primers with this and I've never seen one of them make a difference. Okay, so. Ugh. It just, it's so dry and pulls at your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Ugh. Okay, so let's start with that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I found the best way to buff this out, or really the only way, is you have to use a very like dense kind of brush. My F80, where is it? I tried using the F80 from Sigma. I use this with all my foundations, but it's it's got too much give to it. It doesn't really help with this. <laughs> so I'm trying to use some denser brushes. I think the one from BH is gonna help us out, so. Let's go on the forehead. One thing I really don't like about stick foundations in general is that it's really hard to blend like right around here. So I'm gonna like add some there and then use the brush there as well. I'm getting like really light coverage and it's clinging to every dry spot even the ones I didn't know that I had so I'm just gonna finish up a full face application that's one thing like it does dry down really fast so don't put this everywhere and then go to blend it out because it'll look even worse let's zoom in doesn't this look amazing? Okay, dry spot right here. That looks horrible. It's barely covering anything. It's already kind of creasing around my mouth. Ooh, that spot looks, ugh. And let's look at my forehead. So I can make this look a little better with a sponge. So let's show you what this looks like when you smooth it out. So it didn't help that much on the forehead, <laughs> but let's go down here. So let's try to work with the nose. So you can see that did help a bit. It still looks kind of garbage, <laughs> but smoothing it out with a sponge, it did. It just gave it the moisture <laughs> that this foundation is lacking. So we have one layer of the foundation on, and it still feels tacky. Um, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I honestly think you could wear it like this. I haven't been able to blend product on top of it. I've always had to powder it, which makes this look worse. This looks horrible, especially at the end of the day. 
That being said, I, I don't think I'm wearing this another full day because I already have a clip to show you guys at the end of the day and I don't want to put myself through that again. But I will put on the concealers. So I thought, eh, the foundation isn't the greatest. Maybe we could go in and fix it up with concealer. I have two shades. So I have shades 120 and 115. So 120 is lighter. So I'm going to use 120 under the eyes just a little bit. I got that backwards. I'm still sleepy. So I'm gonna mix these under my eyes. So yes, numbers my numbers are numbers. So 115 is lighter than 120. And I don't really want to put it on the rest of my face because I still want to like show you guys what it looks like when I do powder this. So let's just keep this under my eyes. So I will say, the concealer does give you a solid medium coverage, and it looks nice when you first apply it. So before I powder it, let's zoom back in. So it actually looks really nice when you first put it on. It is kind of immediately sinking into some of my fine lines here. But overall, it, it doesn't look terrible. If you do bake your under eyes, you will have to just keep like tapping it out and then put the powder on. I will say this does crease worse than any concealer I've tried recently by the end of the day. Uh, but I, I mean, if you don't want to powder your under eyes, you don't have to, but you would constantly be like tapping out the creases all day. And I don't think anyone has time for that. <laughs> so I'll just tap this out. And I'm gonna bake like as lightly as I can. <laughs> And I'm actually just using my Cody Airspun powder, so it doesn't look bad. I mean, I've definitely seen worse, I've seen better. It's definitely not a concealer that I could see myself going back to. And the concealer was what confused me, because I, when I first put it on, I was like, oh, this looks decent, like, meh. But then by the end of the day, it would look horrible. And I couldn't tell if it was something I was doing. Maybe it didn't like the powders, maybe it didn't like the foundation. Because I tried this not just with this foundation, but with a bunch of other foundations as well and acted the same. So this is normally the part of my routine where I would powder my face and I'm going to show you guys what happens. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, which is a powder that looks amazing on the majority of my foundations. I'll just show you what this looks like when you powder. I feel like a desert. Like, I see like crackling right here. And I didn't even powder as much as I should because I still feel a bit tacky, but I know if I over powder this, oh my god. My nose, I think my nose looks the worst because I've had um, a pretty bad breakout and it's been like a really dry spot. So it just looks horrible right there, even with like skincare and a really moisturizing primer. And look at the forehead. Oof. So now you'll say, well, what about setting spray? Maybe that'll fix it a little bit. Let's give her a whirl. I have, I actually was able to find this in store, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. So let's... I love this set. I love this. I think this is my favorite affordable setting spray. Using my hands. Where did my fan go? So as you can see, setting spray actually kind of makes it worse. Especially up here, you see that? See, the only decent part of my face right now is the under eyes. Suffering. And my face feels like, ugh. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, it just feels like, ugh. All right, so I've shown you guys why this doesn't apply the best. Um, I do have a clip from a full day wear. I don't know if that's going before or after this. Honestly, this video is probably going to be a hot mess, but I'm going to go watch this off. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, look at that shade difference. Ugh. All right, guys, it's like four o'clock. This is the first day I've worn the Milani stick foundation for a full day because I did work from home today. And this is what we're looking at. I'm also wearing the Milani concealer. Look how bad it looks right there on the go, especially right, oh my God. Look at that. Completely rubbed off right there. Gee, oh, and look at the creasing. I just, I hate how dry this looks. When I used setting spray, I didn't powder as much as I could have. And my under eyes are creasing like mad. So I'm not wearing eyeshadow because actually I was gonna like film a tutorial or like a three looks from palette later today after I finished working, but um, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna wash this off and uh, read a book and uh, chill because <laughs> uh, it doesn't even feel good either. I feel really tight and dry. So this isn't boding well. This is actually the first time I've been able to wear it for a full day because I did work from home. So uh, so you've seen the application. You've seen what it looks like at the end of the day. You've heard me rant for God knows how long this video is going to be. Safe to say I don't recommend this. Um, ugh, God. I haven't had a foundation fail this bad in a while. Uh, so this is definitely going in the bad part of my foundation drawer. Because I don't like to declutter things immediately. I might, ooh, I might do a video of all like the worst foundations I've tried recently. That could work. Same with the concealers. I've tried the concealers with different powders, with different everything, and I can't get those to work either. So take this as a warning, please. Uh, I think I really wouldn't recommend the concealers to anyone because, because un uh, unfortunately, I feel like I can't think of anyone I would recommend the concealer to because it just looked so dry. It attached to all of the texture I have under my eyes, so... I mean, even if you had perfect skin and perfect under eyes, this dries up so much, it looks eh. I guess maybe if you have incredibly oily under eyes and can't get anything to stick, but then I have no idea how that would work. So just skip the concealer and definitely skip the foundation because, whew, whew. Uh, again, I think the only person who might even be able to use this is someone who's incredibly oily and is looking for a stick foundation. Um, but even then, I, I would probably recommend a different foundation over this one. Oh, so this video is a hot mess. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> uh, let me know down below if you've tried either of these products and if your experience was as bad as mine, because one of the great things about makeup is that everyone's experience is unique and so we o we always have something to bring to the table so if you had the same experience if you've had a different experience please let me know so we can kind of inform the community and really get a more rounded view of these products out there if you've tried them thank you guys for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye